Welcome back into the Sports Source, this segment of our program brought to you by Safety Systems. Folks, automate your home, your whole home. I mean, lighting, heat and air, everything, touch of a, touch of a button on your tablet, your, your, your smartphone. You can sit there. You want the TV to open up from a wall. You want a painting to open up, and there's your TV behind it. You want to pretend you're James Bond. Safety <laughs> Systems, the folks to call. Trust me, I try to pretend I'm James Bond all the time. It doesn't work, especially when I have a mirror around. But they can do cool stuff in your home. Safety Systems. Also want to tell you that coming up today on our special overtime segment, is 2017-18 going to be as miserable a year as I fear it will be? I, I want to see if everybody thinks it's going to be miserable. I think it's going to be a miserable year ahead. This overtime segment today will be presented by Lisa Atkins and the team at H&R Block on Callahan Road in Knoxville. You see the phone number right there, 865-938-2100. One of the most experienced tax teams in East Tennessee. They're pretty good because they've done the taxes for me and for Chuck. Yes. So that means they've done their work. <laughs> there you go. Give them a call. All right. Uh, time for our fast finish. Very quickly here, one answer, I mean, one word answer. Most projections have the Lady Vols, who are 19 and 11, going in as a seven seed in the NCAA tournament. There's some debate as to whether the name Tennessee will bump them up, if they might drop down. They got a seven last year. I would probably say, yeah, seven again this year. Do they get a seven or do they get it something else? Sounds bright to me. I think seven. Seven is my guess. It's carved. I've seen the bracket. It's carved in, in granite. Seven. <laughs> seven. <laughs> carved in granite. All right. All right, good. We left plenty of time for this because I think it's interesting. Uh, Butch Jones, all last season, was called out of touch, rude, hostile. Uh, he, he would talk about how great his program was when clearly it wasn't. He would talk about how good it was even after they lost, which it clearly it wasn't. Um, he would get, he'd get his dander up, kind of rile up. Okay. Well, <laughs> an SEC coach had this to say this week, and I just want to know, what would the response be had Butch Jones said, if you want to put my ass on the hot seat, it's not. There's a difference between being accountable and being in a situation where you evaluate a program. We are in the upper division of any Power Five conference as far as the status of our program and where we are right now. Our program is not in the hospital. It is not in critical condition. Our program is in a great position. If you have one of the best seasons they've had in years, 14 years, and you want to start talking to me about critical, then you've lost perspective on where this program has been. Our program is in really, really good shape. That was Bruce Pearl after his team lost to Missouri in the SEC tournament. Can you imagine <laughs> if, if, and Butch Jones could say, almost all of these same things, the whole, well, if you look at where this program has been the last few years, <laughs> He has said some of these things. It, it would actually be accurate about the standing in the division of the SEC. Yeah, I don't think all Auburn is. is really upper echelon, of upper half of the Power Fives across the country. Not um, even close. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can you imagine, though, the reaction that Butch Jones would get? Oh, it would, uh, yeah, it would, be, uh, it would be heated. It would give us a lot to talk about, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, it would have fans all upset about him. The Twitter world would burst. Yeah, that, there would be a lot of people attacking Bush Jones. And, and couldn't you see kind of that statement after the Vanderbilt game? Can you? Well, that, well, that's yeah. what it was. That's kind of what you're talking after about. When Missouri. you delivered that after the Missouri loss. Yes, but Bush Jones, I mean, saying yeah. it after Vanderbilt, just yeah. like Bruce Pearl did after losing to Missouri in the first round of the SEC tournament. I just think, yeah, and he's in his third year. Butch was in his fourth, and that's a difference. Uh, but I think more people expected a quicker, easier to turn around basketball than it is football, though. Mm -hmm. And especially when you've had top ten classes, which you had. Um, Thoughts on the, what the reaction would have been? Not good. Oh, it would have been. It would have lit up. <laughs> I just think it's interesting that you know it depends on who it is that says, says it. You know. But uh, I think sometimes we, uh, and I've done this on the show before. I think whatever f school or team you're a fan of, you hone in on that team and you study it so closely with a microscope that you lose perspective. And I think a lot of people look at what Butch Jones says in a press conference. And rather than saying, wow, he did go 45 minutes here answering questions where some coaches go 20, they look at it and they say, ah, look, he sounds like a smart aleck. And you forget that that happens elsewhere too, that he's not, he's not the only one doing it. Guys, I want to say thanks to you. Uh, I want to thank you again. I want to see you next Sunday as we preview spring practice. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day from all of us here at the Sports Source and from the Donahue side of my clan. Have a good one. <laughs>
The Sports Source is brought to you by Fast Break with Heather Whiteside Art now available. 